Johannes Hans Daniel Jensen, the 25th of June 1907 to the 11th of February 1973, was a German nuclear physicist. During World War II, he worked on the German nuclear energy project, known as the Uranium Club, in which he made contributions to the separation of uranium isotopes. After the war Jensen was a professor at the University of Heidelberg. He was a visiting professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, the Institute for Advanced Study, University of California, Berkeley, Indiana University, and the California Institute of Technology. Jensen shared half of the 1963 Nobel Prize for Physics with Maria Gopert Mayer for their proposal of the nuclear shell model. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education. Jensen studied physics, mathematics, physical chemistry, and philosophy at the Albert Ludwigs Universität Freiburg and the University of Hamburg from 1926 to 1931, and he received his doctorate at the latter in 1932 under Wilhelm Lenz. Jensen completed his habilitation in 1936 at the University of Hamburg. Topic. Career In 1937 Jensen was private doesn't unpaid lecturer at the University of Hamburg and began working with Paul Hartig, director of the university's physical chemistry department and advisor to the Hiraswaffenamt Army Ordnance Office on explosives. Hartig and his teaching assistant Wilhelm Groth made contact with the Reichskriegsministerium RKM, Reich Ministry of War on 24 April 1939 to tell them of potential military applications of nuclear chain reactions. Military control of the German nuclear energy project, also known as the Uranverein Uranium Club, began on 1 September 1939, the day that Nazi Germany initiated World War II by invading Poland. Hartig, one of the principals in the Uranverein, brought Jensen into the project. Jensen's main thrust was on double centrifuges for separation of uranium isotopes see the section below citing internal reports of the Uranverein. Hartig and Jensen developed a double centrifuge based on a rocking process to facilitate the separation effect. In 1941, Jensen was named Extraordinary as Professor of Theoretical Physics at the Technische Hochschule Hanover, today, the University of Hanover, and in 1946 he became an Ordinary as Professor there. In 1949, he was appointed Ordinary as Professor at the Ruprecht Karl University of Heidelberg. Since 1969, he was Emeritus Precox. He was a guest professor at the University of Wisconsin Madison, 1951, the Institute for Advanced Study, 1952, University of California, Berkeley, 1952, Indiana University, 1953, California Institute of Technology, 1953, University of Minnesota, Twin Cities, 1956, and University of California, San Diego, 1961. In 1963, Jensen shared half of the Nobel Prize in Physics with Maria. Gopert Mayer for their proposal of the nuclear shell model. The remaining half of the prize was awarded to Eugene Wigner for unrelated work in nuclear and particle physics, especially through the application of fundamental symmetry principles. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Party memberships. Adolf Hitler took power on the 30th of January 1933. On 7 April of that year the law for the restoration of the professional civil service was enacted, this law, and its subsequent related ordinances, politicized the education system in Germany. Other factors enforcing the politicization of education were National Sozialistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei (NSDAP), National Socialist German Workers' Party, organizations in academia, and the rise of the Deutsche Physik movement, which was anti-Semitic and had a bias against theoretical physics, especially including quantum mechanics. The party organizations were the National Sozialistischer Deutscher Studentenbund (NSDSTB), National Socialist German Student League (founded in 1926), the National Sozialistischer Lehrerbund (NSLB), National Socialist Teachers League (founded in 1927), and the National Sozialistischer Deutscher Dozentenbund (NSDDB), National Socialist German University Lecturers League (founded in 1933). 
While membership in the NSDDB was not mandatory, it was tactically advantageous, if not unavoidable, as the district leaders had a decisive role in the acceptance of an habilitation shrift, which was a prerequisite to attaining the rank of private doesn't necessary to becoming a university lecturer. While all German universities were politicized, not all were as strict in carrying out this end as was the University of Hamburg, where Jensen received his doctorate in habilitation shrift. Upon his 1936 habilitation, he had been a member of NSDDB for three years, the NSLB for two years, and a candidate for membership in NSDAP, which he received the next year. The university leader of NSLB had made it clear that active participation was expected from Jensen, and that is what they got. After World War II, the denazification process began. When Jensen faced the proceedings, he turned to Werner Heisenberg, a prominent member of the Uranverein, for a testament to his character, a document known as a Persilschein whitewash certificate. Heisenberg was a particularly powerful writer of these documents, as he had never been a member of NSDAP, he had publicly clashed with NSDAP and the Schutzstaffel SS, and he had been appointed by the British occupation authorities to the Chair for Theoretical Physics and the Directorship of the Max Planck Institute für Physik then in Göttingen. Heisenberg wrote the document and convinced the authorities that Jensen had only joined the party organizations to avoid unnecessary difficulties in academia. Honours Honours conferred upon Jensen include 1947 Honorary Professor at the University of Hamburg 1963 Nobel Prize in Physics 1964 Honorary Doctorate from the Technische Universität Hanover today, the University of Hanover 1969 Honorary Citizen of Fort Lauderdale, Florida Internal reports The following reports were published in Kernphysikalische Forschungsbericht Research Reports in Nuclear Physics, an internal publication of the German Uranverein. The reports were classified top secret, they had very limited distribution, and the authors were not allowed to keep copies. The reports were confiscated under the Allied Operation Alsos and sent to the United States Atomic Energy Commission for evaluation. In 1971 the reports were declassified and returned to Germany. The reports are available at the Karlsruhe Nuclear Research Center and the American Institute of Physics. Paul Hartig, Johannes Jensen, Friedrich Knauer, and Hans Zeus Uber die Bremsung, die Diffusion und den Einfang von Neutronen in Fester Kohlensor und Uber ihren Einfang in Uran G36 the 19th of August 1940. Paul Hartig and Johannes Jessensen der Thermodiffusionseffekt im Zusammenspiel mit der Konvection durch mechanisch Buet und und Vergleich mit der Thermosiphonwerking G89 the 18th of February 1941. Johannes Jensen Uber die Ultrazentrifugenmethode zur Trennung der Uranisotope G95 December 1941. Paul Hartig and Johannes Jensen Gerchnung des Trennefaktes und der Ausbeut verschiedener Zentrifugenanordnungen zur Erhohung des Workingsgrades einer Einzelnen Zentrifuge G158 February 1943. Paul Hartig, Johannes Jensen, and Albert Sir Uber den Zusammenhang zwischen Ausbeut und Trennscharf BEI der Niederdruckolone G159 Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Books Conrad Bailey, Wilhelm Groth, Paul Hartig, and Johannes Jensen über Gasentrifugen, Anreichering der Xenon, Krypton und der Selen Isotope nach dem Zentrifugenverfahren, 1950, cited in Walker, 1993, p. 278. Articles Otto Haxel, J. Hans D. Jensen, and Hans E. Zeus on the magic numbers in nuclear structure, Phys. Reverend Vol. 75, 1766 1766. Institutional affiliations Haxel, Max Planck Institute für Physik, Göttingen, Jensen, Institut für Theoretische Physik, Heidelberg, and Zeus, Inst. für Physikalische Chemie, Hamburg. Received 18 April 1949. 
Helmut Steinwittel, J. Hans D. Jensen, and Peter Jensen Nuclear Dipole Vibrations, Phys. Rev. Volume 79, Issue 6, 1019-1019 Institutional Affiliations, Steinwittel and J. H. D. Jensen, Institut für Theoretische Physik, Universität Heidelberg and Peter Jensen, Physikalisches Institut, Universität Freiburg. Received 10 July 1950. Topic. Notes Topic. Sources Bayerchen, Alan D. Scientists under Hitler, Politics and the Physics Community in the Third Reich Yale, 1977. ISBN 0-300-01830-4 Henschel, Klaus, editor and Ann M. Henschel, editorial assistant and translator Physics and National Socialism, an anthology of primary sources Berkhauser, 1996. ISBN 0-8176-5312-0 Hoffmann, Dieter Between Autonomy and Accommodation, The German Physical Society During the Third Reich, Physics in Perspective 7-3-293-329-2005 Jensen, J. Hans D. Glimpses at the History of the Nuclear Structure Theory, the Nobel Prize in Physics 1963, the 12th of December 1963. Stack, Berthold J. H. D. Jensen, Personal Recollection University of Heidelberg. Walker, Mark German National Socialism and the Quest for Nuclear Power 1939 to 1949, Cambridge, 1993. ISBN 0 521 43804 7. External links <inaudible> <inaudible>